Cheerio from London. <laughs> Hello. Today is day one in London. We got in last night after the longest travel day ever. Five hours in, how are you feeling? I suck good. Boarding the plane. We have nobody in the metal sea. This is the most English thing I've ever seen in my life. We're just we're all just drinking beers in the street. <laughs> But we're here. So we're gonna make the most of this beautiful sunny day in London. Yesterday it was pouring rain, which I wouldn't have it any other way, but like there's not a cloud in the sky. We're gonna go to all the parks today. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. But first, coffee time. Today's coffee is from Blank Street Coffee. What do you rate the location? Um, inconvenient, but. Inconvenient in the middle of the subway. Nice to pick up, but it was a little busy. I'm gonna give it a seven on 10. Cup aesthetics, I'm giving this one, honestly, I like it. Minimal. I like the aerial. Aerial. Everyone likes aerial. Um, like a seven. Okay, seven on 10. And lastly, taste. I feel like it's hard to get a cappuccino wrong, honestly. <laughs> it is hard to get a cappuccino wrong. That's a, that's an eight for me. Yeah, eight's fair. We're going to Kensington Gardens to say hello to Wills and Kate. I cannot believe that this used to be the private gardens of the king. I think it's actually the Prince of Wales, but yes. Yeah, you're right. Okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> hello. <sighs> okay. Well, Kensington Gardens review. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Lots of birds, dogs, dogs everywhere, and water. Anywhere with water. Actually, no swans, so we're gonna knock a 0.5. It's a nine and a half. Pigeons are friendly, though. Did you know that the king owns all the swans in Britain? I haven't seen a single swan, so. <gasps> We've just had our first swan spotting. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so majestic. Look at it, don't look at me. That is a, that's a swan, so I need to improve my rating of Kensington Gardens from a 9.5 to a 10. It's official, everyone. How majestic. Yo, someone called Kylie, they found her grandpa. Cheeky scone in Notting Hill, which supposedly is like one of the best places to get like traditional English scones. So I have their original with clotted cream and raspberry jam, and then Josh got the chocolate chip, which is surprising because you don't typically go for the overly sweet. It's like hard on the outside and then soft on the inside. That's so good. I don't know why I got the chocolate chip, but it just it looked good. So. I love it when chocolate is kind of a little bit hard so it gives that crisp. It's very good. So we made our way to Notting Hill and we're on the hunt for the famous travel bookstore from Notting Hill, the movie, which Josh just saw this year because of me and loved it. So, yeah. Voice over Josh here. After this, we went to the Pelican, a place that's on Lily's recommended list of London. It was incredible. The vibe was great. Great elevated pub food. And there was a cute dog. Then we rested before going for dinner at Sir Colo Populaire. I honestly wasn't the biggest fan, but Lily really loved it. Here's her review. Honestly, like, like a 12 out of 10, just because of the ambiance and everything. And they made it right in front of you. I love it. Surprise, surprise, we found ourselves back at Oxford Circus. Let it be known that Josh came back a second time because I wanted to look at the twinkly lights. <laughs> Welcome to the wizarding world of Harry Potter. This is Lego Harry Potter. This is the Nimbus 2001. I'm standing here with Newt Scamander. What do you have to say for yourself? 
They have a giant Dobby that you can win and put in your own home. I found Hagrid. Yes, I am a Slytherin. And for all of you who didn't get your Harry Potter letter, you can just buy it. It only opens for people who are invited. <laughs>